Hey guys, so today I am filming a what's in my bag video. This is the first time I've done this video and it was requested by my friend Carrie. Hello, Carrie. So this is my bag that I'm carrying currently, which is kind of a lie because I kind of got really lazy about carrying a bag when I went to college. Um, I more often just carry a wallet now, but this is my purse. It has been my purse for about a year, which is funny that it still looks this good, but it's because when I got to school I essentially stopped carrying this entirely. But normally I switch purses in the winter to a bigger, like, um, bulkier, heavier bag, and I really like my winter bag, but um, since I didn't carry my purse at school, there was no point to change purses. And normally I carry a bigger bag, but my senior year of high school I was like, I'm going to try this whole small bag thing. And I do really like carrying small purses, but I am still a big bag girl at heart. I am sure that if I decide to start carrying a bag more regularly again, I will probably transition back to a larger bag because I just really enjoy that I can throw essentially all of my belongings into a big bag. But um, yeah, so this is an American Eagle brand, I think. Yeah, it's from American Eagle, but I bought it at Payless. Um, last summer, I think. No. I don't remember. I think last summer. Maybe two summers ago. I'm not really sure. We'll go ahead and start off on the outside pockets. Right here is just a perfectly sized cell phone pocket, which my cell phone is in. And then this pocket right here is a pen pocket. Normally, there would be a lot more pens in this because I have a great big pen addiction. Uh, there would be pens of every single color, but right now there's just some random colored pens in there, but yeah. Alright, so getting on to the inside of the bag. Ooh. So this is what the inside of my bag looks like. It's jam-packed. It's really full right now. Um, normally I would try to keep it a little less full than this, but I also wouldn't normally zip it before leaving the house, which means that it wouldn't feel so full. But yeah. So to start off, we have some pain reliever, because who doesn't get in pain? I also have some wadded up headphones, which I guess weren't as wadded as I thought they were. Okay, so next up we have just my basic wallet. Um, you know, driver's license, debit, credit cards. I have an insurance card. I also have this cool, lovely, amazing $5 B-dubs gift card. Uh, $5 will get you so much at Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, no, totally kidding. Um, next up, just my lanyard. My Chicago Cubs lanyard that I bought when I went to a Cubs game in April with my parents um, and my keys. I have this whistle and it's funny because everybody is always like, is that a rape whistle? And I guess technically the answer should be yes because I guess that's what I would use it for. But in reality, this just came out of one of those 50 cent like machines where you just like twist the thing and it gives you like a little container and this whistle was in it. I got in trouble for blowing this whistle at a football game one time. And it has not been blown since, so, yeah. Um, next up we have two notebooks. I am a writer. I write everything when I'm bored. I like to write stories or doodles. What is this? There's a note in it. This is a doodle page. Doodle. That is definitely my mom's handwriting. How sweet is that? And then this bigger notebook, which I would definitely use to write stories in. I think I've taken all of the used paper out, but, um... Yeah. Who doesn't need a notebook in their bag? And then in the little zipper compartment in here, we have like my uh, makeup that I carry with me. So we have some chapstick. If I remember correctly, that tastes kind of like lemon. Yeah, so I have some chapstick and another chapstick. This is like, this chapstick is um, Aquafina sparkling water flavored. And this one isn't my favorite. It's wild berry, this one is. But I remember that there was one of these um, Aquafina, it's not even sparkling, it's just Aquafina flavored water, and I remember that I absolutely loved the citrus flavored water, so when I saw these in the store, I was like, I need those chopsticks. Next thing in here is just some lip gloss, it's a beauty control brand, I don't really even know if that's an actual thing, but, huh. That's really sticky. But it smells nice. It smells really good, actually. It kind of like cocoa, maybe, which is an odd thing because it's pink. But, yeah, just some beauty control lip gloss. And then, well, I have some eyeliner. Everything is falling now. It's all sliding back toward me. I have some eyeliner in here. But then now I'm confused because I lost something. 
I know there's also a mascara in here somewhere, but it's apparently not where it belongs. And then I have this little thing here, um, just a little black foldy thing that has business cards in it. I actually need to refill it. Um, but yeah, because I have a photography business, so I need business cards with me because you never know when you're going to meet a potential client. Uh, and then at the bottom of the bag, I just have some ponytail holders floating around because, like, hello, ponytails. Okay, so that's everything in the, like, bag portion of my bag. Um, so now this little blue bag is kind of like my emergency kit. Um, it's kind of awkwardly sized. It's like half the size of my bag, so you would think, like, why do I even need this in here? But this is just where I like to keep all of my like, last-minute essentials, such as deodorant, because I cannot tell you how many times I've left my house in the morning and forgotten to apply deodorant. We have some hand sanitizer. Normally, this would be hanging on the, um, like, this part of the bag. My little hanger that I have is actually on my backpack, and I just don't really care enough about hanging my uh, hand sanitizer to actually get that out but this is the warm vanilla sugar scent it smells like vanilla it's nice cleans things feminine products because I'm a female and uh, ah here's the mascara next thing I have is this two-sided mirror that I got for Christmas many many years ago it's awesome I love it it comes in super handy and it's magnetic so it just sticks together Jinx is barking um, next up, this is probably the weirdest thing that I carry with me, but I have some gauze pads, but for me, I just always think, you never know when somebody's going to get cut and is going to need some gauze. Of course, if somebody gets cut badly enough to need gauze, two pieces of gauze is not really going to help you, but I keep it with me. I've had it for years. This gauze is probably, like, both pads are probably three or four years old, but they're all still sealed. And then I have band-aids because, again, you never know when you're going to need a band-aid. Um, and then I have some nail files. They're adorable. These little nail files are called nail buds. Somebody got them for me for Christmas. There are so many in here. I've literally like never used these things. They're adorable. Just tiny little nail files. Cause I have some hand cream from Avon that I've had for what? Probably six years. Um, it just never goes bad. And I had a friend in high school that was constantly asking me for hand cream. And like this seemed to be the best one that I had. It's a really, um... Ooh, that's really smooth. Even now, it feels really nice on my hands. It doesn't smell the best. It kind of smells like my grandma. But... And then down here at the bottom of this little bag, I have some A&W root beer scented lip balm. Also have had this for years, but it's just been in my bag since I got it. I also have some of the Listerine Fresh Burst Pocket Packs um, breath strips. I have two of them. These things burn your mouth. Here, I will show you. Oh, no. So these just, I don't know if you've ever seen them, but it's just like this tiny little strip that you put on your tongue and it melts. So, here we go. Uh, oh, it's nasty. Uh, oh, it's so gross. Uh, I don't want to close my mouth. Oh, oh, it's done. Oh, it's on the ring of my mouth. cinnamon ones and this uh, ugh. the cinnamon ones were a lot more bearable than this um and the cinnamon ones were hotter because these these are pretty hot but um oh my goodness wow this is just bad I'm sure my breath smells good now they really I mean they work but oh I was I wish I hadn't decided to do a test of those okay so at the bottom of my emergency kit I have some bobby pins and um nail clippers. These are probably the number one thing in my bag that I always keep with me. Like, oh man, those Listerine strips are still tasting bad. Whew. But anyways, nail clippers are the most useful thing for me because you can open things with them. You can cut your nails with them. So if you break a nail, you can cut it off. If you have a hangnail, you can cut it off. Um, but they're just, it's so useful to just carry nail clippers with you. More useful than carrying a little thing of scissors because that would be weird. But, um, if you don't have nail clippers in your bag, you need to get some 97 cent nail clippers and keep them in your bag. But that is officially everything. This bag is empty too. Um, there's now a mess of my purse down here in front of me on my bed. But uh, yeah, so that's everything that's in my bag. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. I would love for you to do that. 
um, and share this video with a friend if you feel like that is a good thing to do. If not, that's okay. I won't blame you. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please leave those in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video, and until the next time I see you guys, see ya. You know, I learned last night that it's genetic when people who look in the light sneeze. Okay, wow, I feel real blind. Um, but I don't know where I was going with that. Whew, the cinnamons were, uh, cinnamon were, okay, well, now I can put my glasses back on.